Einstein's equations told him the universe would either be collapsing under the force of gravity or expanding forever. However, Einstein felt the universe was static. Einstein added a cosmological constant to his equations. In theory, this is a vacuum energy that opposes the force of gravity and enables a static universe. Einstein believed the cosmological constant neutralized gravity. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble studied a type of star known as the Cepheid variable to determine how galaxies in deep space are moving relative to the Earth. Cepheid variables have fluctuating luminosities. Hubble could use the period of the Cepheid's luminosity variation to determine their peak luminosities. For example, this Cepheid has a period of about 5 days. Therefore, we can determine its peak luminosity is about 4 times 10 to the 29 months. Using the brightness of the Cepheid on Earth and the known peak luminosity, Hubble calculated the distances to the Cepheids and their galaxies. Hubble observed a redshift, or Z, from these distant galaxies, meaning the light was being stretched as it traveled towards Earth. The redshift indicates that the galaxies were moving away from Earth. Hubble could use Z to calculate the recession velocities of these galaxies. Hubble noticed that the recession velocities of the distant galaxies were proportional to the distance they were from us. This is Hubble's law. So what does this mean for the universe? Let me show you. Say hello to our universe. As implied by Hubble's law, galaxy A moves away from the Earth faster than galaxy B because galaxy A is farther away, and there's more space between the two that stretches. The universe is expanding! The universe is not static, as Einstein thought. The cosmological constant was called Einstein's biggest blunder. The scientific community thought the expansion of the universe was decelerating due to the mutual gravity of the mass in the universe. Hubble's work led to the belief of an expanding, decelerating universe. For very distant galaxies, when the value of z is greater than 0.2, a deceleration parameter must be introduced to formulas. Two teams set out to calculate the deceleration parameter using type 1a supernovae. All type 1a supernovae are created equal when a white dwarf accretes matter from a binary companion and explodes. They all have the same peak luminosity. Based on the brightness of type 1a supernovae on Earth and their universal peak luminosity, the teams could calculate the distances to the type 1a supernovae. Using the distances to the supernovae and their redshifts, teams could calculate the deceleration parameter. The deceleration parameter came out negative, meaning the expansion of the universe is actually accelerating. In the past, galaxies were moving away from each other slower than they are now. The universe accelerating implies that there is some sort of vacuum energy that counters gravity. Sound familiar? Return to the cosmological constant. It is now known as dark energy and dominates over gravity, causing the acceleration of the universe. Data from the Planck satellite indicates that 68% of our universe is dark energy. A negative deceleration parameter implies dark energy dominates the universe. So what is dark energy? We don't know.